The Studio Still Lives project came close to the end of Robert's time in Southern California. He had taught a class at the UCLA Extension program in photography. And one of his classes, he had this one particular student who didn't really seem like the other students. He was older, he was kind of more professional looking, he didn't do his homework. And um, this man approached Robert at the end of the run of the class and said, I think I have something you'd be interested in. And it turned out this, this person was Al Dorskind, who was the vice president of Universal Studios at the time. And he was a passionate photography lover, and he was an amateur photographer himself. He, um, he actually, years later, was very instrumental in raising, getting money raised to start the photography department at LACMA. But at this time, he had taken this class with Robert and offered him to come and shoot anything he wanted on the back lot of Universal Studios. So Robert took this invitation and got his 8x10 camera, hauled it over to the studio back lot at Universal and shot for six months. He was mostly shooting kind of sub rosa, trying to avoid union problems and such, but he was there almost every day. He made almost 200 prints. Um, and a lot of times it was very dark, so he would be shooting these exposures that were 15 seconds, 45 seconds. It created a kind of a ghostly look a lot of the time, this kind of back lot feeling, because with those long exposures, even if there were crew men or women running around, you couldn't see them because of the long exposure. When it was all done, he made two prints from every negative that he shot, created these enormous books of everything. One of those went to Al Dorskind, the other one Robert kept for himself, and that's the copy that is now in the Robert Cumming archive. Um, Robert also created these 25 portfolio boxes that he built himself with 25 prints that he chose, and um, it really kind of became a very nice, tidy, beautiful project of Hollywood life. <laughs>